Hey guys and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure Another ride today And today is the first day of school So my daughter started school this morning uh, She went out for the first day even though there's a long weekend up ahead But uh, the school board decided that they want the kids uh, on Friday and then they're coming back, uh, I believe, on uh, Tuesday after the weekend uh, because there's a Labor Day long weekend this weekend. Not for me, I, I am working this weekend. Anyways, uh, another thing is that uh, yesterday I sold my camper trailer that I've owned uh, for 15 years. I'm heading out right now because the plan is uh, to get something smaller. We used to have a 20-foot trailer and there's only three of us uh, and uh, that wasn't the layout in the trailer wasn't really working for us that's because uh, I bought the trailer when I was single I was living with the dog only at the time after having family and uh, the trailer served us well for quite a few years uh, we have many good memories uh, traveling uh, around into a different uh, beautiful places starting uh, with uh, longer rides down to United States uh, Mount Rushmore and uh, we went a couple times to Yellowstone uh, so yeah we had a good times in the trailer we decided it's time to let it go and another thing that trailer weight was over 7,000 pounds so that's uh, way too heavy uh, it's an older trailer and uh, with the gas prices right now it was almost impossible to go anywhere and uh, we have been camping out on about three times uh, this year so today I'm heading out uh, of the city to High River just about half an hour from my place and uh, we looked at one of the trailers uh, it's called uh, Wanabago Hike it's uh, made for off-road and uh, off-grid camping. It's a way smaller trailer. It's, uh, I think, I believe it was a 16-footer, but the layout inside was perfect. But uh, basically, what I'm going right now, I'm going to check it out uh, one more time uh, because last time we were just passing through, and uh, I didn't even pay attention. You know how it is when you first looking at something. Uh, you don't code everything and I didn't, never took any photos uh, Even though we were with my wife and daughter. So today I'm gonna have a more closer look at it if it's still available uh, That's uh, that we really really like that one, but uh, later on in the day Once my daughter comes from school, we will check uh, some more other trailers uh, out in Airdrie uh, but right now I do want to have a, another look at the one that we looked at as uh, this one really caught our eye The only problem with that trailer is is the price this new little trailer It's uh, almost forty thousand dollars plus taxes so the price tag of the trailer is quite high and uh, before we pull the trigger I want to look at more trailers, so I'm not gonna rush into it we want to see more smaller trailer so I got few hours to kill around uh, get some riding in and also check out this trailer so it has been a couple of weeks uh, since I have been riding yeah where did I go last time oh last time I went um, for a short ride with my daughter uh, just out uh, close to uh, Black Diamond and uh, all those little towns and uh, we spent some time uh, on, on the river there then went home so yeah it has been a while it's time to get out um, another thing is that it was uh, extremely hot this year we have been hitting uh, 30 degrees almost every day uh, for the past couple of weeks yeah the mornings are cooling off as you see the grass is all turning uh, brown at this point 
and that's an uh, indication here that uh, the summer is uh, getting close to an end to an end and uh, yeah i don't know how much longer we're gonna have uh, it is uh, first of september so no actually it's not first of september i think it's the second of september today uh, pretty much any time after that in september there were there were there were years uh, that we had snow already on the ground uh, i'm not looking forward to that because uh, i don't like winter but at the same time i'm not a fan of uh, extremely extreme heat like 30 degrees and right now we're only at uh, 24 degrees but there's a, it's a cool morning so you can feel that uh, cool breeze uh, at least so this is the turn off to the dealership So those are the hikes that I was talking about. Now if I remember which model I was looking at. So, so those are very nice looking trailers. I'm gonna park to the side and I'll see on my phone which model was I looking at. This is the trailer that we were looking at. It's uh, very small uh, from the outside, but inside it's uh, pretty spacious and it's got uh, like a Murphy bed. Or well, actually, this one is not a Murphy bed, this one has a normal bed. I think the other one that I was looking at had a Murphy bed. So it's got pretty much everything what you need and uh, it's uh, really nice. Uh, the way it's made and the bathroom is right here even though this trailer is small but it seems like it has so much more room than ours used to have I really like that thing and uh, now it will come just down to the price of what I can negotiate on this one, but I won't film it and uh, I'm not gonna even buy it today. I will probably check some more as I mentioned earlier down in Airdrie before I pull the trigger um, See if I can find something similar to this thing. It's got a two burner stove full fridge and convection microwave which can serve as a oven at the same time nice overhead cabinets and that piece here the whole thing is a slide out so it slides out makes a little bit more room and this is a sleeping area so that's uh, probably if I pull the trigger on this my daughter would be sleeping here and uh, we would go to the front on a big bed yeah I like that big bed comparing to our previous one which was so small nice USB ports right on top so you can charge on your devices put it on the shelf at night uh, that's also very well thought fridge not bad looking We've got a freezer too it's got a lot of storage uh, like, like there is a shelving here uh, there is a storage here under the benches and then in the front here there is a whole entertainment center and controls uh, with the smaller tv even so there's a big cabinet right here as well so this is how it looks outside as you see it's got a nice lifted suspension it's got all, all these bars around which are pretty cool you can attach the stuff to it uh, it's got uh, all automated jacks all around and here there is that slide out it slides out about a little bit more than a foot 
which makes it more spacious inside. So it's got power jacks, I think, as well, by the looks of it. But yeah, you can take that thing off-road. Outside, outside shower, aluminum rim. What more can you ask for? Gee, that's pretty nice. And the whole thing is uh, about 4,020, 4,200 pounds, which is a fraction of the weight uh, what I used to have and seems like it's so much more spacious. Even in the back, there's a hitch, so you can attach like a bike rack or something to it. So, all right, guys, uh, one hour later, uh, I was able to have a conversation and uh, talk about this trailer. And uh, it ended up that uh, it's, uh, I, I can save about two grand from that price tag that's on this trailer. Uh, if I pull the trigger soon enough, uh, I didn't do any deal today, as, uh, as I mentioned, because I didn't want it to rush into it. But at the same time, um, yeah, so I can get the whole thing for about uh, 40 grand. So now we just gotta make, uh, ch check some other trailers and see what's gonna happen. And of course, discuss it with the wife. So I will head out now for a short ride to get some wind in my face. It is getting too hot right now. It's uh, 32 degrees, uh, not even one and a half hour later uh, when I was uh, riding here to High River. It looks like the harvest is in a full blast right now and uh, I have a like horrible smell here uh, I think that the fertilizer had to be just recently applied here which is good keep on going with that fertilizer because that's what they're trying to ban right now uh, they're trying to screw up farmers but yeah you can see everything is uh, harvesting uh, at this moment so yeah, fall is approaching, that's for sure. How much longer are we gonna be able to ride in Alberta? Maybe it's gonna be a year, like a couple years ago that I was riding uh, on December 6th. That would be nice. You can always uh, wish, right?